sometimes the funny thing with adventures is you don't always find exactly what you're looking for. And that was the case today in our trip to the Pest House Cemetery in Provincetown, Massachusetts. I thought this would be an interesting site to check out given today's current events of the pandemic, but we weren't quite able to get to where we were supposed to be. The Pest House Cemetery is located just to the north of Route 6 East in Provincetown. It is also known as the No Name Cemetery, in addition to being called the Pest House Cemetery. It was built in the mid-1800s in response to the spreading epidemic of smallpox, but the now historic hollowed grounds are being lost to the wilderness. Okay, so this spot is literally on the side of the road, and I parked on the side of the road and I hope it's going to be okay. I don't see anything that says no parking. And it's apparently down this little road. These are the only signs. There's this tiny trail down here. So let's go down the trail and see if we can find the smallpox cemetery. The smallpox cemetery consists of 14 small numbered markers and the depression left from the now demolished pest house. Back in the 1800s, pestilence houses or pest houses were known as small treatment buildings for those plagued with smallpox. At this particular pest house site, 14 people perished from the disease. The grave markers display no names, but the records are kept in the town's Book of the Dead. The location for this cemetery is just off Route 6 in Provincetown, Massachusetts. There's parking on the shoulder of Route 6, and even signs asking you to leash your dogs, making it somewhat easy to find. Today, the cemetery, which was once built near Claps Pond at the bottom of a steep ravine in the scrub forest, is now being overtaken by a grove of American beech trees and the shifting sands of Cape Cod, making it somewhat difficult to find. Go right. Uh-oh. I don't think we're going there today. It's all flooded out. From there, you're supposed to follow the trail, head past a stone marker, which leads to an intersection, and follow the path to the right. Now that small footpath is supposed to take you over a hill and down some ways for about five to ten minutes worth of walking, at the end of which you'll see a steep hill leading to a grove of beech trees. Now those trees will signal your arrival to the correct location but the final descent is very slippery, so please do be careful. If you do happen to find this, which we, however, were not lucky enough to do, make sure that you respect the dead in their history and leave no signs of your presence and do respect what remains. It's my thinking that at this point, a lot of it has in fact become overgrown and is no longer as easy to find as it once was. We walked around in circles for quite some time in hopes of finding a different path to lead us possibly back down to where the pest cemetery once was, but we weren't successful. Either way, if you do decide to go looking for it, here's some pictures that other people have taken back in 2018 to show you what you're looking for. Have you been able to find this location? Let me know in the comments below. If not, let me know if it's a place you think you would try to find. Thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more like this. We'll see you next time.